Hello, hello, hello. And welcome to Sundays at 7. Yes, this is Joanna Lowe of Joanna Jazzy's Jewel. And I'm coming to you live to just um, show you some of this jewelry that I have. Um, we're on every Sunday at 7 o'clock, most Sundays. However, next Sunday, um, I am not going to be here. So, we will not be having the live on next Sunday, okay? We will not. Alright, I'm not going to be in place so it won't be here so that is what February 26th we will not have it maybe during the week I'll come on with something and we'll have something then maybe just all depends so what I do is uh, I show uh, paparazzi jewelry this is five dollar jewelry although I do have pieces that sell for twenty five dollars uh, I don't. I won't be showing any of that tonight. Uh, you can go to my website, which is www.paparazziaccessories.com backslash four three one five five one. If you go and look at any of the old lives, you'll see that. Okay. So, but anyway, welcome, 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 and good evening, good evening, Miss Coley. Good evening. I gotta call you. Well, I'll do that sometime who knows when <laughs> all right let's see let me get my pad down for today it's 2 19 23 all right i hope y'all had a wonderful sunday and things are well it is well with you all right get myself set up here we'll get started well on tonight um, I'm pretty sure we're not gonna be here long I just want to show you I say that every time don't I? we'll try to go this hour make something happen okay all right so I'm gonna show my first item out the door it's gonna be um, a bracelet it is a cuff bracelet I have it in black, and then I have it in this turquoise, okay? So, I don't know which way you want to wear it if you want to be... I don't know. I just don't know. Let's see, what's the name of this one? It is called the, um... Tedon Terra, or Tiara. It's a Tiara, as we can see. So, if it's a Tiara, which is the name of it, we I think we can wear it up like this, okay? So, if you like uh, that, and it does have the crackle stone in it, all right, again, I have it in black, and I have it in turquoise, all right, the two colors here. So we're going to give it one number. So if you see something you like, all you have to do in the comment section is just comment the number, and then I will know. So this is going to be Jazzy 23. So if you like this one, you'll say 23 blue or turquoise, and if you like the black one, you'll say 23 black, okay? But that is, and it's not a real tear. <laughs> It's a cuff bracelet, all right? Because I don't know anybody's head that's that small, all right? I don't, you know, a baby. A baby's head is even larger than that, all right? Okay, so next, I want to show you this nice, this is a nice purple necklace here. It is silver, and it looks like they just cut out some stones uh, and stuck it on there. That's a nice little pretty purple color there. Very cute there. It does come... Uh, with some complimentary earrings, only five dollars for this particular um necklace. And as you can see, there it has the little cut out the design that's on the actual necklace. There you'll see. All right, so that is going to be number sixteen. Number sixteen. This is a short necklace here. Uh, just a a beautiful little thing going on there. Okay. Now I want to show you all a two piece. A two-piece set here I have the earrings look at these lovely copper earrings called Royal Appeal all right for those of you who like to wear your earrings 
uh, and there it has that little jewel bedazzled jewel uh, there with it and I've matched it up five dollars for the ring five dollars for the earrings matched it up with this nice copper with those multi colored stones there copper um, ring and the earrings two piece deal you like it I love it you want it and the number is going to be 14 so let's just say you wanted the earrings and didn't want the ring you can say 14 earring or if you like the ring only which is a knuckle to knuckle you'll say 14 ring okay if you like them both you'll say 14 set 14 set now I may have shown these the uh, other day I'm not sure I think I have these in copper and then I have it uh, it came in in gold okay so these nice lovely I know Valentine's Day is gone uh, however you can wear your heart jewelry at any time uh, so this is a nice gold pair of earrings there uh, you see there uh, with those the cut out detail on the earrings it took a lot of itching and sketching and cut that out nice little uh, pair of earrings for you they are on fish hook back which means they are for the pierced ear and the number is going to be jazzy 26 okay jazzy 26 now i was gonna put on something else for those individuals who do not have pierced ears i try to uh, show at least one pair of peer, uh, clip ons earring uh, per show so this will be the pair for this show this is this nice circular there where you see the rhinestones uh, throughout this is called uh, drama on demand uh, they here again this uh, clip on earring there for those ladies who do not have look how cute that is this will go with a lot of things and the number for this one is going to be jazzy 29 okay jazzy 29 for that one now on Sundays we uh, do things a little different from any other time if I post it any other time on Sundays we do have these little trivia questions uh, that bring me a lot of laughter and fun uh, I do ask questions from the uh, scriptures and um, you know we have this game that we play and so today's not going to be any different uh, I'll ask a question and then the person who responds with the correct answer who I see on my side first um, that person will get a point and then the first person to two points, then they'll get, um, they will get a gift. Okay. So having said that, let's go to our first question for tonight. All right. I don't see Miss Jewel yet, but we're gonna go on anyway. All right, y'all ready? Who was the husband of Naomi? Who was Naomi's husband? Somebody tell me. And it's coming from the book of Ruth. Alright. Okay. So while, while y'all coming up with that answer, I'm going to move on. Just looking for Naomi's husband. Naomi now. Not Ruth, Naomi. Okay. So next I want to show you this uh, bracelet here. It has a lobster clasp on it. It has a two inch extender, which means it looks like it's for a little short arm but it can be extended out this is um, the olive green band as you can see it has like four different bands on it but look at all this play uh, that you get it is very lightweight um, throughout there you have your silver charms with that hammered out texture on them and then you have your silver squares right there on again this chain and I'm going to tell you, this, this right here is very cute on your wrist. Okay? You just got to trust me. When you put this on and you got all that hanging in there, that is so, so cute. Uh, a must buy. It is a must buy. And the number for this one is going to be Jazzy 5. I'm telling y'all, that is, and it's called the Token Trick. And again, this is a green bracelet, um, that olive green bracelet with all those charms. They're very pretty on your wrist. All right, so the question was, who was Naomi's husband, Elimelech, and it like Miss Coley has it. All right, let me put you down for a point. Yes, 
All right, all right. Okay. So, let's move on. We're going to go to this next pair of earrings here. This is called the Spirited Soar, yellow earring there. Uh, as you can see, it does have... Now, I don't know what... Uh, Paparazzi's on this butterfly thing, because y'all know, again, you can see my butterfly uh, earring, you know. No, not yet. I don't know. And I didn't send out the invites like I normally do either. So, we'll see. It'll just be you. <laughs> yeah, it'll be to your favor. It, it, it like you ain't already got a big bag. Somebody just popped on, though. All right. So, here we have... We have this yellow and silver pair of earrings there dangling. It is yellow. It's a cute pair of earrings for the pierced ear. And the number is going to be 25. Jazzy 25 if you like these pair of earrings. Okay. Give you a little up close look on them. All right. All right. And uh, we'll do a couple of more things and then we'll have our next question. This pair of earrings here, let's look at this. Is for has a false back uh, for the pierced ear. It's called Take a, a Power Stance, okay? And this is a rhinestone pair of earrings. Very cute there, if I don't say so myself. A uh, pair of rhinestones. They do dangle there uh, that at the end. The number for this pair is going to be 31. If you like these, you'll say Jazzy 31, okay? Now, I like this next bracelet so much that I got me one of these. Um, and uh, it does have the, all the heart shapes on it. It's that Ann and Andy style. These are very easy to put on. You know, you just stretch them out, put them on, and then close them back up. And so then it has some little heart charms there uh, on the side. Uh, I have one that I wore it so I done, did, I done warped it. I don't worry so much. Okay, so it's time to get another one. So this is going to be Jazzy 22. You can put several on at one time. They're very, very cute. Uh, my mother has uh, some copper ones, the real ones. And she puts on two at one time. And I'm telling you, it is just cute, cute. The number for that one is going to be Jazzy 22. Okay, let's ask our next question. All right. So right now we have Miss Coley with one point. She's trying to get... Her next point, but we do have, we're going to get ready to some people on now to just help themselves to win. All right, how many books in the Bible begin with the letter O? How many books in the Bible begin with the letter O? First person to give me the correct answer, you will get a point. How many books in the Bible begin with the letter O? <laughs> Okay. Well, Miss Blonnie's on. She's on with the incorrect answer. The answer is one. All right, and Miss Coley has it, and that's Obadiah. I don't know who, 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 what's that second one? I don't know, but one Obadiah is the only one. We must have thought of one, you know, one we don't know about. Okay, so it is one. So Miss Coley, you have two points. As you can see, you know what happens. We have five bags here. You know the drill. I don't have to tell you. All right. While well, she's trying to figure figure out which which bag. Oh, you were guessing. Okay. I ain't gonna laugh too much, but I I just want to know that second. I would I, I could think of one. I can't think of two, but I can think of one real quick. All right. <clears throat> Look at this. I like how these particular ovals here are so, like suspended inside of this. So, hey, you finally got on. Okay. I don't know, man. You're going to have to do some practice runs on why you can't just get on on. I don't understand that. You're going to have to do some practice runs. All right. All right. Let's see. The name of this. I don't know the name of this particular one. Uh, but I do have a bracelet to go with it. And the bracelet is called Pretty Persuasion. So we have a two-piece deal here. All right, you have the bracelet and we have uh, the necklace there. This is a short necklace, okay? The necklace uh, does come with a 
pair of earrings complimentary I'm going to show you that in a minute but this is a stretch bracelet here with the silver and the iridescent white stone with the silver spacers all right a nice two-piece deal five dollars for the necklace five dollars for the bracelet ten dollars set if you like it you'll come at nine if you want to break up the set that's fine they didn't come together I just matched them and here are the earrings that come with that necklace that are uh, uh, very nice match there so, having said that, we let that go. She said bag number five. So, let me reach down here. I picked up four by mistake. This is bag number five. Has one item in it. Let's see what you got here. All right. It's my plan to run through on Friday. It's my plan. That's what I'm going to call you about Friday. Okay, this is a long necklace. Let's see. And it is um, copper in color. It got caught on that staple. I got to get my long uh, necklace display to show you this one. Alright. Just put this in this night. So... This is what you want unless you want to switch it out for something else, okay? Uh, these are white, little white discs. They're actually an off-white color, cream in color. All right, you see that there? And it is does come with a complimentary pair of earrings there to match. You can keep it or you can trade it in on something else. Yeah, I think she should keep it or should she trade it in on something else? Alright, just let me know what you want to do. Alright, so while she's making up her mind on that one, I'm going to go on. I'm going to go on over. Oh, you don't like that? Okay. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> you want bag number one? You may already have one of those, don't you? Well, <laughs> oh, this ain't bad. <laughs> I don't reckon. <laughs> And I just want you to know that this is a nice bracelet. I just want you to know that you got a bracelet instead in bag number one. And I do have a necklace to go with this, okay? This is a nice gray stretch bracelet, as you can see. All right. So, that is what you want. Now, if you want me to show you the brace, the necklace, I have to find it. I have that goes with that. I'll look for it, okay? I will, I will. Just let me know. And I will show it to you. Alright, so we got you on that one. Alright, alright. Let's keep this party going. Let's keep this party going. Let's go on to our next item. And then we'll have another question. Look at this. This is a nice, this is a, uh, I like this. It kind of reminds me of um, the pebbles. Here you have your open, you have your open face silver, okay? Okay, I showed you the bracelet. My question was, did you want me to show you the necklace? Okay, so, and then we have the crackle stone white here, as you can see. Maybe you can see it. So this, this necklace here, oops, necklace, okay, we'll get that. Let's see if y'all can see this. Okay, so you see that crackle stone there and on those open fissures there, I call them open fissures. So this is a silver chain, has that crackle stone with it. Does come with some complimentary earrings. I do have some crackle stone white earrings. Uh, I don't know why I didn't take them out. I was intending to. This is on this is a long necklace, a very cute piece here. And I took this out to show you to match it up here. This also has that crackle stone in it, okay? And it is off-white and silver. Uh, a real good match with the necklace here. The two pieces. You get two necklaces, I mean bracelets for five dollars, and you have um the necklace there, okay? So the number for this set is gonna be Jazzy One. And if you just want this nice necklace, you can just say one necklace. If you just want that, those two bracelets. And again, 
you know, I I I buy a brace. I don't. I buy the stuff, and if I, if, you know, sometimes y'all don't never see the stuff because it. I don't never show it because it don't never get past my jewelry box. Okay, but if I like to buy multiple bracelets there, in those sets, and so I take them and I wear them with different outfits. People are like, oh, you got a new bracelet? No, I don't have a new bracelet. I just wore this bracelet last Tuesday, uh, you know. But I had three on instead of one. So you, you know, they're very versatile like that. That's a good thing you can, you know, match them up with various outfits. Okay, all right. So let's move on. Let's have this one more set, and then we'll have a question. So this one is a copper necklace, and it's called iced iron. Okay iced iron this one is different for sure uh, again it is copper and it has those uh, brown jewels there as you can see hopefully you can see it better it is a short necklace I really really like this uh, it comes with these complimentary earrings here I call them the chandelier earrings but they are the tassel earrings it does have a two inch extender on this necklace you can extend it out don't have anything against those earrings, but I think these can go a little bit better. These earrings are also uh, copper, and they do, it's a dark copper, and they do have, uh, as you can see, that brown jewel there um, on it too. So this is a two-piece deal, the earrings and the necklace. If you like them both, all you have to comment is Jazzy32. Jazzy32. Jazzy32 is going to be for you. And that's a little different, you know. We're moving um, out of this particular, getting ready for the our uh, spring. And they got some new spring, loud, fashionable jewelry coming out. Uh, so I'm pretty sure you all will be impressed with it. All right. Okay. Question. Yes. Let's ask another question. All right. Oh, Lord, I don't think I want to even ask that question. All right, y'all ready? What happened immediately after the seventh seal in Revelation was opened? What happened immediately after the seventh seal in Revelation was opened? And, of course, you're going to get this answer in the eighth chapter. Alright. Okay. And you gotta be a little specific. Y'all know how y'all give these general answers and, and then I'll be like, hmm. Especially where time frames are concerned. You gotta give me very, very specific where the time frames are concerned. So after the seventh seal was open, something happened. It was a significant something all right why well, y'all are thinking about that one all right miss groom said there was silence in heaven that is right now how long was the silence that's correct i'm just asking a question this one is for just fyi miss jewel you get a point can somebody tell me how long the silence was? You won't get no point. I'm just asking. For half an hour. Yes. For there was silence in heaven. For half an hour. Nothing happened. Nobody spoke. Nobody did anything. All right, and so that's in that's in the first chapter of Revelation eight. I mean, the first verse of chapter eight. All right, we'll ask another question after I show two sets. This first set here is a set. This is a brass set called the Moonwalk Magic, and I also have this. I think I have it in black, but I also have it in silver too here. Okay, so I have it in silver, we have it in black, all right? I meant brass. And I think, because I have one of these myself. This is one of these things that, you know, you want to make a bold statement. You really want to bring some attention to your neck and your neckline, you wear this, okay? It does come with some complimentary brass earrings there that have the hammered out texture, as you can see. 
All right, this is a short necklace, okay? This have a two-inch extender on it, so it will extend out uh, even more. And the main reason why I pulled this up is because I got in this new little brass uh, bracelet to go with it. You can see the jewels there on the bracelet. It does have that hammered out detail on it, and it is a stretch bracelet, okay? So this right here is making a power statement. It's a power move with a power statement there. And to round it off, I do have this brass ring to go there. It goes especially nice with that bracelet. So you may just want the bracelet and the ring by itself. But it is a three-piece set. And the number for it is going to be Jazzy 7. Jazzy 7 for this three-piece set. And again, if you want to break it up, that's quite all right with me, okay? Quite all right with me, but look at that. All right, we got the jewel to go along with it. I have several brass pieces, but you know that this particular bracelet I thought called for a large necklace and not the small ones. I think that's cute. All right, okay. Now I want to show you another new piece that came in. Turn this around. It has some tassel earrings there, which you know I'm gonna do something different with them tassel earrings. Now this is just a large little piece here, and you gotta know what you're doing. You wanna wear this. This particular uh, item is multicolored in that it it has uh, several different colors. It plays off of the lights. You can see greens, you can see yellows, you can see blues. Uh, there in there I can I don't know about you even some purple but of course it's playing off the pink off of my board and off of my shirt too so but it is it's a multicolored uh, long chain as you can see does come with the tassel earrings to match the chain all right although you know I don't have anything against those tassel earrings but anyway it's not my I'm not the biggest fan so this right here does come I've seen um, a uh, one of the, I think she had a pink shirt on, uh, one of the, uh, the, my, um, I don't know what you would call it, I think say a sorrow, but I'm not a sorrow, one of the co, of the paparazzi sisters, we call them papa sisters, uh, she had this on, it was very cute, she really brought it out. Okay, so what I've done is taken the liberty to add some earrings to the mix here. These earrings, they are also multicolored. They are, I think you'll see a little bit more pink. You get a little bit more white reflection out of this because of the of the um, rhinestones that you see around it. Those three-tier earrings there. And I do have a ring uh, that matches up real well. As a matter of fact, it's the exact color that's there inside of that necklace there. All the multicolors and remember our rings do stretch to fit so this is a nice three-piece set if you like it you can make your comment jazzy eight okay it's gonna be jazzy eight for that one you know I'm, I'm, I'm the type that like to have every color the same and all matched up but I promise you if you if you ever start just experimenting with your wardrobe and your jewelry since I began selling it. You know, you just, I just throw stuff together. And, um, because sometimes I have to think outside the box and I don't do that very well when it comes to the jewelry sometimes. But I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay. All right. Let's have our next question. Y'all ready? Get your fat fingers ready. All right. Get your fat fingers ready. Who was the second person to take Sarah home as a mistress, a potential mistress, not knowing she was married? Who was the second person, not the first one, now to take Sarah home? She must have been some kind of pretty lady. You hear me? To take uh, Abraham he said, uh, home as a potential mistress, not knowing she was married. And you'll find this in the 20th chapter of Genesis. Not the first, the second person to take Sarah home. Who? It was not a female at all. It was a man. 
Okay, that's... Uh, and Elizabeth didn't come along until the New Testament, okay? Oh, Miss Jewel. <laughs> Oh Lord. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Ab Abimelech is correct, and I see Miss Coley coming in with it first. I don't know how how y'all spelling these folk name. And Miss Jewel tried to spell it. She came in second. Okay, so Miss Coley, you get the point. Abimelech, hot to matter. <laughs> You might have been trying to say that and put it like, y'all better watch that spell check. That's all I can say. I don't know what you were trying to do, but now that, I know you ain't mean no Elizabeth. I don't reckon. <sighs> y'all, let me tell y'all, you know, you <laughs> technology is great. But we just got to know how to operate it, you know. And when we do, I make mistakes all the time. I'm laughing, but I make mistakes. Trust me, at work, I be doing stuff, and, and I have to call the younger people to come help me. She said, no. <laughs> okay, but let me tell y'all what happened to me. It tickled me. This this That's why I say technology is fine. And, and, and and, you know, people are always trying to make stuff and build stuff that makes us even more lazy. And so, so, cause you know, you're going to pay for a convenience. But, uh, so one, uh, one of the ministers in our organization, he called me and, uh, to handle some business. And so I, um, apparently I didn't hear the phone ring. I don't know where I was. I don't know where the phone was and I don't know where I was. And most people are joining at the hip with their phones. And certain times of the day I am, but certain times of the day I'm not. <clears throat> so when I finally got to my phone, I was listening to, I was looking at the phone and you know, they have this voice recognition. And so everybody phones does now it, it will appear again in an, in an effort to make us lazy and to, you know, for this convenience. It'll, it'll, whatever the voicemail when the person leaves it, it'll print it out for you. So you don't have to listen to the voicemail. But it, but I don't know about y'all's phone, have an iPhone, but mine is so inconsistent and it's, it just is wrong. Half the time it'll be saying stuff the person ain't even saying. But anyway. You know, before too long, I'm pretty sure they're going to come up with something that's going to be more accurate. So I'm listening to this minister. I know the man, you know, and so I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm reading it because I think I was, I had got back in the car. I think I must have left the phone in the car or something, and I got back in. And so I'm, I'm, I'm reading the message before I actually uh, listen to it, and then I cut the speaker off so I could listen to it. Well. At a certain point in the message, he said the word, she, she would have, I don't know what he was talking about. And I, and the, and the interpreter, the phone interpreted it as a cuss word. <laughs> and so it cursed and then it went on down. And so at another point in the message, he said, um, the word they were gonna go and do or 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 drag out something, and the phone interpreted that as a cuss word, and so it cursed. So, I was, and so by the time I finished listening and looking at what the you know the phone had interpreted, it was just you know just some cussing going on. And I noticed I've never heard this this preacher curse never. And so when I said I said. <laughs> I said, you know, and I, I call I called him up and I said, Look, I don't know what you were trying to tell me, but I know what this thing said. And it was too funny. So y'all, we can't do I said all that to say we cannot depend on these phones to to convey what we are trying to say. <laughs> Even sometimes you could be texting stuff. So don't never let the Texting and all that take over a, a, an important conversation. Pick up the phone and call the folks, okay? All right. Because I know that uh, Elizabeth was trying to take Sarah in there. Okay, but anyway. <laughs> all 
All right, so right now at this point, Miss Linda has one, Miss Jewel has one, okay? All right. Yes. Because, see, we could, and, and I'm going to tell you what the devil will do, even if that person did curse. What the enemy will do, he'll, he'll convince people to go out and start spreading lies, or even sometimes it could be the truth, and spreading that on people. And, and you know we don't we don't want to be a part of that we don't want to be a a part of them but I know I had a good laugh and he did too okay <laughs> when I told him what that thing is I couldn't tell him for laughing tell you the truth okay so the next thing I want to show you is called high flying fashion okay and I don't know if I've sh I've seen this before or not okay so this is a this is like a um 3D butterfly I'm gonna bring it in a little bit because on the sides you see here. And I know I got a, a bracelet different from the one I got to go with this. I told you, Papa Ross is on this butterfly thing. I'm pretty sure it has some kind of significance and meaning. Um, but I'm going to go along with it. This is a cute little um, necklace here. This number is going to be jazzy too. All right. And this has the butterfly earrings to go along with for the pierced ear, as you can see there. Uh, it does have a two inch extender, so it will extend out. This is a cute little dainty necklace, especially, you know, some people, I like simple things in terms of um, wearing fashion sometimes. I know a lot of people don't believe that about me, but I do. All right, <clears throat> so this is gonna be jazzy too. So with it, what I have, I'm gonna match it. I have matched it up with this cuff style uh, bracelet here. And it is, as you can see, it does have the rhinestones on it. Uh, this is a nice uh, particular bracelet, I think. And I'm going to round it off with this nice little, and it's not the ring that I have on, but this nice little, uh, you see here, I'm going to bring it in. Some does have a little gold tone in the back. Uh, butterfly ring. So all three of these comprise Jazzy 2. Jazzy 2. So if you just want the necklace, you'll say uh, 2 necklace. If you like this cuff style bracelet you'll say two all right bracelet and again it'll it will fit your arm because you're gonna manipulate it and bend it over until it does and if you like this butterfly you're gonna say see it's different from the one that i'm wearing yeah they have about three three or four different style butterfly rings of course you know i got mine on because i want to sell it i want to sell it look at that that's cute though all right okay i'm gonna put on a, something different next week all right, but I do get people who, um, a, a lot of people have just joining my page. They're not coming on on Sundays, but they are watching it and they're joining. Uh, they're requesting to be my friend. So, you know, you got to start somewhere, okay? All right, so having said that, I want to uh, go to the next thing here and then we'll have our question. This one here is a multi uh, multiple colored necklace here. You have your greens, you have your turquoise you have your orange there of course it's on a silver chain um, they're coming in with all of these different colors there it's on a long necklace it does have the complimentary earrings there turquoise earrings beaded does have a two inch extender so it's already a throw and go but you can extend it out uh, two more now I have this particular I'm gonna see if I can get it to read right I, it was upside down earlier. I was trying to read. I couldn't figure out what this word was for nothing. And then I figured it out. It's happy. Anyway, this is a nice stretch bracelet there with some of those same colors in there. You see those beads in there. You have your silver beads, spacer beads there too. All right, so this is a two-piece deal. And if you like it, you're going to come in in the comment section, Jazzy 11, okay? Jazzy 11 for this nice two-piece deal that's different happy and we want to be happy you know but happiness is just one of those things that you have to create it doesn't always just fall in your lap you have to create create happy moments okay let's not look for other what's negative or what's going on wrong let's try to create some happy moments okay because life life is hard enough as it is all right let's have a let's have our next question so which, this is going to be real, real, y'all know this one. Which apostle was a tent maker? I ain't going to tell you the book it come from because you'll know. Him. Just remember, one of them made tents for a living. He was, in my opinion, the most anointed one. 
Oh, Miss Jewel come out with Paul. I was the first person I see, and you're exactly right. You are exactly right. Paul was that was that tent maker. Yes, then I see Sister Cola coming in second with Paul. Okay. All right. So let's 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 talk about this. And Miss Jewel, you got two now, so just give me a number. Uh, not number five though. Okay. So I guess somebody just sent me a message to my soul. I don't know what she want about. Anyway, we'll see. Number two, I got you. So this is look at this beautiful orange necklace here. I and you'll see. I I have I had to stop buying necklaces like this because I had I I still got a lot because I love that design and I love how it looks on your on your um, neck, especially if you have an open collar shirt, a square off, or a circular collar shirt that's open. These these right here look so. Somebody's calling me, and I'm on live. These look so good, as you can see here, okay? So, um... Oh, they're sending messages on top of it. So, I love this. This comes with the matching earrings. Look at this, ladies. That is so cute. With the matching earrings. It does have a 2-inch extender. It is a short necklace. And I matched it up here with this nice cuff... Um, this has that crackle stone in it, this nice cuff orange bracelet. All right, you can just maneuver it and fix it uh, on your arm. These are, I finally learned how to wear the cuffs so they stay. All right, so nice two piece deal here. If you like it, the number is going to be Jazzy 10. If you just want the bracelet, you'll say 10 bracelet. If you just want the necklace, of course, you're going to say 10 necklace. And if you want all, uh, both of them, you're going to say 10 set. All right, let me ease that under there. That's a beautiful color. That's one of my favorite colors. Not my favorite, but it's one of them. Uh, that orange there. Miss Jewel said bag number two. Oh, that looked like a six, but it's, it's a two. All right, now this... Let me see how well I know her. This is really one of these urban style necklaces. You know, which means it could go either way, a male or a female, but I think it's more of a male. You got a, a man that I don't know about or something like that. But anyway, you can get this to him. You might. I don't know what you got going on. Um, with that brown rustic look on it, that's how it came, for real, for real. It has that, uh, see the little bead there, all right? And it's on a leather like And this particular, you know, it's not for earrings because it can go either way. It has that drawstring closure, so you, you can extend it out longer, or you can choke it up even more. All right, Miss Jewel, you like that one? You can get it. If not, we can give it to, you know, you can wear this. I'm telling y'all, I, I, you know, you just got to have that knack for just matching stuff up and wearing it just right. And like I said, I'm learning. I'm, I'm learning. I'm not just staying you know, with the safe stuff. I'm wearing the little stuff that's a little risque. You don't know how it, you know, but then you get these compliments when you go out. And I don't know about y'all. Uh oh, she said number four. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I, uh, you tend to keep stuff if you get some compliments. I don't know why we like that. If you like it, you just like it. You know, you don't get no compliments on your own way no more. Really? That means you're a people pleaser. I will put that one back in there for another day. All right, so you say go to bag number four. So that means you got to keep this what's in here. All right, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, Miss Julie. <coughs> oh, y'all, excuse me. Look at this. This is a leaf necklace, okay? A little silver or something other. You got these nice tassel earrings to go with it. You, That's what you got. You probably like that better than none. This is a little short necklace, too. I mean, short, it's more, it's almost a choker. All right, with a leaf on it. So, hey, it is what it is. Huh? 
That's what you got. You like it, I like it. Let me find your name in here somewhere. There it is. All right. So I'll know that that goes to you. Now, I have not forgot, Sister Coley, about that silver necklace to show you. I may have to, because I'm going to have to dig to find it. i probably just send you a picture of it after the live, okay? Because I know I got to dig to find it and see if you like it or not. All right. All right. And so on for my finale piece, okay? For the finale piece. The finale piece is going to be Jazzy 33. All right. Jazzy 33 for this last piece. Actually, I ain't talking about my bracelet and my ring. Let me do that now. My bracelet, of course, y'all know I got this on this butterfly ring again. All right, it's going to be Jazzy 20. My little bubble gum, I call it my little bubble gum bracelet there with all those nice little spring colors. It's also going to be Jazzy 20. So you just tell me if you like it. You know you can get it. $5 for the bracelet, $5 for the ring. All right, all right. This nice, lovely item here this is different y'all think these are ugly my mama put them on i don't know why they go from ugly on out the pack though looking pretty good all right so this one is called the deep space diva this is a copper necklace here as you can see and you have your dangling here these little iridescent uh you can see through um, um beads there all right they are crystal clear then on that and it comes here with the matching earrings there for the official uh, back for those people with those pierced ears. All right. So then, I don't have anything against those earrings. So, but for Jazzy, uh, you know, these are some that are different. I saw these there. They have the little clear stone in them. And then they have that little overlook. So that could go either way. The ones that come with it are perfect, however. But I thought that was neat to have that. And then I have this copper colored beaded bracelet look at that all right i think that is cute also look at that that is beautiful the little copper i have one of these i have it in silver and i have it in black i'm gonna tell you how much i love this particular uh because they don't they just don't slide all over the two b's on the end keep them there they just slide very little get very little movement and then i'm able to maneuver this and you know and then that what i like about it too it has the bees on the end so it won't hurt your wrist so these are very very cute. Like I said, I have I have I may have all three colors. I'm I know I got two of them. Uh, I think I got this one. I think I got all three colors: silver, black, and then I have it in this copper color too. So if you just want the bracelet, you can do thirty three bracelet. If you just want this beautiful necklace, you can do thirty three necklace. Or if you just like these earrings, you can do thirty three earrings. If you like all three, you're gonna do thirty three set. Okay. All right. I think that is it. I don't want to hold y'all, but I know that I have. Let's see. Let me see if I can put my hands on it right quick, like, to go with that. Because I'm probably going to have to find it. To go with that bracelet. It's a silver and black necklace. And I can't see it. I can't. It's on the multi. So, I won't belong. Like those folks say, I won't belong to time. Because the time don't belongs to me. I'll get it and I'll send you a picture of it. Or I'll post it on my page. Let you know to go with that particular um, bracelet. Okay? Gotta find it. Well, having said that, I want to say thank you all. Uh, for joining in again in this edition of Sunday's edition of Joanna's Jazzy Jewel. Y'all bring a friend next time, okay? Bring a friend. Win a gift. Bring a friend. They got to get on with us. All right? And then get a gift. I will not be on next Sunday. Um, I ain't going to be here. All right? I don't feel like taking no jury with me. Um, so... Who knows, I might. I doubt it. Anyway, I'll let you know. I'll text you on your phones let you know if I'm going to be here. I don't think I'm going to be on next Sunday, though. I'll be out of, out of pocket. 
But until then, y'all have a safe week and know that Jesus loves you more than I ever could. All right? All right. Bye-bye.